Hello everyone. This, I think, is my first official non-test video. Feel free to look in the comments for the actual video filled with all, well, a couple of the not so terrible testing runs. Some of them were just so horrible and massive. I had one failed attempt at this that was over eight gigs in size and, and looked terrible and sounded horrible. So. Let's just pretend that never happened. Uh, this is Minecraft, made by a, a gentleman named Notch, Notch, in uh, Sweden, I think. Only by that guy. And he created this entire game, uh, which has a wonderful server ability. You can play with your friends. But uh, this time I'm just going to show off a uh, single player. Specifically, my world. Yeah. My world, which I worked so hard in. I mean, it's ridiculous. But uh, specifically my house. Uh, basically, I've been working on this off and on for a while. And I want to be able to show it to uh, friends and family. But obviously, I'm not willing to just start mailing save files and all that such. So here, here's an attempt at it. So a as you may or may not know, at night, monsters can spawn anywhere in the world. And you, say hi. Yay. And you have to find a place of survival. Some place, that's the sun, some place where you can hide with, with light to keep monsters from spawning before the sun sets, which it sets over that way. Rises over there, sets over there. Um, I still got time to show off my house. And uh, you can collect resources, and you can, and you can use resources to make items, make it, uh, equipment. Everything you see here I've either collected or made. For example, I made this pickaxe. It's made out of some wooden sticks and some iron that I dug up and melted down. And uh, I also made this. This is my house. Uh, it, it's the uh, Donald's uh, amazing cave of wonders or, or something. It's, it's the Ace's house of tree, tree house tree cave anyway okay so basically I found this place because there was lots of rock and more specifically there was iron and uh, more importantly coal this whole area right here is filled with coal so I, I filled up this area with sand and 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 had one torch because I didn't have much wood and, and I shivered my way for my first night in Minecraft since then I've obviously took a long time and, and made the place look much nicer so let me show off. The very first thing I did when I got here is I made a dirt house on top of this hole after I dug straight up. And uh, obviously, I've, I've, I've obviously expanded it and, and added doors and windows and planted a few itty bitty little baby plants in a row. And since then, they have grown up into huge trees, which I then created a pass. Oh, left the door open. Don't want to get drafted. Since I have this. Uh, created a floor out of. You can walk on the leaves. I mean, the, theoretically you could fall through, but I mean, nobody wants that. So, I also found that you can put some dirt on top of your tree, surrounded by wood and some torches, and grow another tree. So, once these get to a height that I'm comfortable with, I'm going to add some more trees growing beside them, and then the sky's the limit. I'm, I'm going to create tree after tree after tree and just grow it up to a massive size. Uh, you, you've also probably noticed the rest of my house. Uh, I initially made the uh, glass perimeter you're seeing here, put in a glass bottom under it, and I created an underwater living room. Very proud of that. Uh, let's see if I can do this. What? Ha ha ha. I survived. <clears throat> Oh, it's almost, yeah, it's almost evening. Um, yeah, I created an underwater living room. Uh, as you may or may not know, sand and gravel are affected by gravity. Wood and almost everything else isn't. So I had to dig an underground passageway here and replace all the sand afterwards. Oh, yeah, it's definitely sunset. And uh, it was all going well. I, I, I mean... I had to hold my breath a lot, and getting the water out of here took forever. And after I finished cleaning out this area, I put in some torches, made it easy to see, and I created a pit. 
And this pit has more than just a simple beauty or, or whatever. I also create a whirlpool over this pit. And monsters who are trying to get at me through the glass, I can walk over here and trap them in the current so that I can walk out safely without them chasing and possibly damaging my home. Some of them can even blow up. You, you don't want them to blow up near your house. It can do a lot of irreparable damage. Uh, my second expansion involved taking most of the lake bottom, or at least the deepest part of the lake bottom, and covering it with glass. It took an enormous amount of sand, time, and patience. And of course, all the time it took to dig out the solid rock. And remember, every time you dig out a piece of sand, everything above it collapses in on it. Um, hang on. This is a nifty trick. Uh, e right now, water cannot go through doorways. Neither can lava. I'm a little disappointed in that because I had like some switches planned where I could flood this room and, and, and kill anything in here with lava. But um, if they do fix it in the future, I've already come up with an alternative. You put some more glass here and a second door, and you have a water lock. Walk in, close the door, wait till the water drains, open the second door. I'm in! So either way, I'll still have this. All right. So, uh, underwater. I had two objectives. One, I wanted to create a free-floating lava waterfall. Whoa! Let me get on solid land. Look at that. It's amazing. Ah! And I was like, what about an underwater lava waterfall? This is basically the reverse of that. If you look carefully, you'll see that it's four lavas with one waterfall in the center. This is four waters with one lava in the center. But at the end of it, it was only a little bit of light. So I decided to make two ginormous waterfalls. There's only two actual source blocks of the lava. Those are those two right there and there. But it still was a massive amount of lava. And uh, it was going well. I had a lot of dirt here supporting it and keeping the water out. And it took a long time to set up the whirlpool. And of course, I had to create the floating waterfalls. That took some time. And the very last block on this side, as I was cleaning away the last of the dirt, the glass broke. And it turned the very top block of water, uh, lava, the part that actually spawns all the rest of the water flow, lava flow, sorry, turned it into obsidian, which requires a diamond pick to uh, break. So I had a problem. I need a diamond pick, or else half my waterfall would be forever destroyed. I would be distraught. I would be in, in agony. So I went on a quest. Let me go back to my house to show you. Uh, I did close the door. Yes. You can't leave doors open. I mean, you can. It's, it's not really going to be that much of a problem. Monsters tend to chase you more than work out how doors work. They're not like raptors. Ooh, my trash can. Uh, let's, let's use my trash can. Uh, this is a lava waterfall trash can. Had a lot of fun with that. Um, lava is actually kind of a, a, a scarce resource. Ooh, chicken? No. Uh, lava is kind of a resource that is very, very hard to work with. Water, if you make a cube of water in the ground, like let's say right here, it'll respawn if you put one in each corner. And these two will also become source blocks. And the source block is a continuous stream of water. This cube is a source block. And as you see, it streams forever. A whole column of water, even though there's only one block of water there. Lava works the same way. However, since you cannot make more lava blocks, each one of these had to be carried up from the bottom of the pit using a pail, and that took me some time. I also created a little, a little animal house, a little animal factory. Animals spawn wherever grass is, and grass spawns wherever dirt is and sunlight, and, and this is, this is kind of important. What was that? Okay. Uh, grass spawns wherever there's uh, other grass, sunlight, and, and animals spawn on the grass. So I, I cover this area with grass, and I took off all the grass outside, put gravel and, and, and so forth. The reasoning behind this is that it should increase the percentage of a chance that they'll be inside my protected area. I also defended this side of the house with a fast-moving river. Anyone who jumps or falls into this river is pretty much doomed to be stuck in currents and they won't be able to get out before I hit them with bows and sticks and so forth. Many of the enemies are fast, but they're not very high jumpers if they're fast. And if they are high jumpers, they're not very fast moving forward. This is the skylight for the mine. I initially built this because there were zombies down there. And uh, this helped clear them out quickly because they, of course, burned when sunlight touched them. Uh, matter of fact, let me just quickly show you the mine. 
I still have five minutes, so just a quick run. Now, I, I have future plans. I was just talking to uh, uh, Wander Root, and then she suggested that I could make a uh, library house. Oh, crap. What? <clears throat> oh, this is the one with the earth. You can't drill through this. I want to have a couple levels because I hated hitting it. Um, what was I saying? Yes, a house made entirely of, of, of bookshelves. So I've been growing some papyrus. I think you saw the previous video. And, and I've decided to use that to create a giant bookshelf bookshelf thing. This is a tunnel I made while searching for diamond. As you can probably guess from this, diamond is not common. All these side paths, this stuff right here... These are all plays that I've gone that just didn't have any. And after searching for hours, I finally found some, like, right here, I think. One. And you need three to make a pickaxe. And I needed a pickaxe to fix it. No, it was here. And so, I had to keep looking. Very unlucky. The best places to find rare stuff is in caves. This isn't because... Ooh. Yeah. No. Later. Do it later, Donald. Okay. The best place to find this stuff is, like, in caves and so forth. But um, unfortunately, you, you really don't get that option much. Uh, if you find a cave like this, this is a natural cave. I didn't dig all this. I mean, I did modify it a bit to give staircases or at least jumpable areas. If you find a cave, because the volume is so much larger, the chances of seeing the edge of one uh, strain of ore or another goes up substantially. So you have a higher chance, just because it is a cave, of finding something useful. Not necessarily because there's anything, you know, special about caves other than the fact that there's a lot of open space it's really easy to find stuff quickly by searching a whole room so i eventually right here found some diamond grabbed it went home Ooh, this is where i found my lava unfortunately this was being hit by water this is dig offable if you have a diamond pickaxe this is what the top of my uh, waterfall looked like it was very pretty but there was only one block of it and this doesn't flow this does i have to collect some more of that later Lava is a precious resource. Because it doesn't respawn, you have to collect every one of them. And, and it's, it can get frustrating. Um, so yeah, my underwater lava waterfall. It, it really does look epic at night. You can get a, a couple of good angles on it. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to create a, a water lava fall inside of lava. I, I, I really like the idea of inverting it. But the problem is getting enough lava and, and designating an area. Obviously, if they ever mix, you have to have a diamond pickaxe, a lot of patience, and replace all the lava. Because while you can't make infinite water, oh god, the time it takes to get the lava is just so frustrating. Um, I've seen other people put a whole bunch of ladders here, but while that does work, holding up isn't exactly that enjoyable for me. So I create a nice little walkway with a water elevator to get up and, well, to get down. You can climb up the waterfalls. Armor slows you down, but you can still climb up the waterfalls. The, the reason why I don't is because it's annoying, slow, and if you fall off, you die. Which I think is a good reason not to do something. Death is always a good reason not to do something. Remember, if you have an option of doing something that could involve death, just say no. Save yourself some trouble. Good at day. Oh, I hear a cow, but he's not in my happy place. So, this is the Ace of Fire's Cavern. This is this is Subworld Treehouse. Or whatever. I haven't actually come up with a name with it yet. I'll make a sign with a name on it eventually. If anybody has any suggestions, I, I can definitely take them. Uh, matter of fact, uh, looks like I'm basically out of time. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions, I'm going to be making another one of these videos later that will actually be on a brand new server, nothing on it. I'll start from scratch and basically do what people suggest uh, people will make ideas about what they want me to do and i'll give it a shot and, and we'll, we'll see how that goes so uh keep an eye open in the future we'll see what happens have a good evening everyone